Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to GTA 3. I've messed around with some of the control settings so now I can just hold down X to sprint instead of uh, tapping it. Let's go see Luigi for edit some more jobs. Or we could do some exploring. Get some side bits out the way. The world is our oyster. Oh god, I wonder if we still have to do a hundred passengers in that. But <laughs> that's uh, that takes some determination. Hey Luigi, I am back. Pump action pimp. Scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a peep, go around back of Amnonation opposite the subway. Oh, he's pissed. Ammunition. There we go. And there's the Diablo dudes. Uh. You look fine. Uh, you'll do. Give me your car. Hey, my car. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks. I mean, I see the fun in it. All right. What we got here? More ammo. Thank you. That would be useful. Love Media has emerged the fastest growing US run media conglomerate of the past five years. Whoops, sorry. Television and radio stations across the US and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music. Ah, keep missing this dude. Quality led broadcasting every time you tune in. Ah, trees! Trees are happening! What if I hit? Oh, god damn it. Satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please yeah. go Maybe a van wasn't the best uh, pick for this. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob for Oh shit. Okay. Uh yeah. Can I skip this? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to try and complete this game without typing in the cheats because I've uh, never really done that before in this game. I've always cheated in the past. Sorry, but I need it more than you do. Well, not mine, Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. And three weeks taught him how to clean the bathroom. She left so much as one. Parent of the year. Now, he brings his mother lunch to bed every day so she can sleep in. And then tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up to He even cooks for the whole family. Right, he's over there. And now he's a paralegal, breaking him home. He's seven and he's making magic. Twenty-three thousand a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, read, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a marketing company making photocopies all night. Oh, he's going to sleep during the day. That's another eight grand right there. Now, I'm about to... Ooh, I'll... Yes, I will have your shotgun. And your Uzi. Thank you. Sound like a cop. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the weight line for toilet paper. And 
All right. I've done the thing, Luigi. What's next? The fuzzball. You got the big fella. The policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. All right. Frost practice. So we bought the new Maifatsu monstrosity. It's so big. We lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu monstrosity has four-wheel drive and in amphibious mode, it can cross Yes, I do call so it driving. Puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the uh, I ask you to respect my driving choices. Lot, I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new Maibatsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? All right, got room for one more, I think, and she's a. We'll get the furthest ones away first, I think. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my. All right, let's get you girls dropped off, and then we can grab the rest. Oh shit, did I accidentally shoot? Yeah, okay. But can everyone sort of calm down, please? <sighs> Whoa! Oh, this is going swimmingly well. Oh god. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want to say the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. It's probably one of the reasons there's so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <sighs> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Uh, is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio right this second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, man, I mean, what's what else is there? I can go on all day, but you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. What's your name? I mean, what do you call hey, about? Hey, Oh Jesus. This conversation on the radio should not really be happening yet as it hasn't technically happened yet. Can I get these last few before time runs out? Oh shit. 
Are you serious? God damn it. <sighs> Your mother's your sister, that explains a lot. Alright, get in love. Oh, God, can you not just stop? Hopefully we can get this done this time. Wow, I can't believe it. Do you have a question? Dude, I call every day and I never get through. This is amazing. You do a great show, man. Thanks. What's uh All right. what, what, what's up? Oh man, I'm serious. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. And exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay, right now I live at home, but pretty soon, like next week, dude, I'm moving out. It's uh the big four oh and Okay, did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude, that B dude was bogus. Really bogus. That's all. Great show, lad, though. Yeah, there she is. I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. I need to stop listening to the radio. A good shoes I've, and the reason I've left it on Chatterbox is just to hopefully avoid any... Uh, Claims. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aeris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday. Not really, but you jumped in front of my car. The kind of dedication Idiot. To our employees and the quality of our shoes. Aeris running shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to petsovernight.com. Alright. Exactly Can I get these last two? Manatees and white rhinos. All delivered uh, overnight. I might be able to actually just need to not crash and destroy my car. Alright, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate. Alright, in you get. Thank you. He is the founder of Now and Zen Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Uh, control is going crazy, so there's clearly something around there that I need to investigate. What did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, that though. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Hey, okay, good. Got them all there. Art, they're about discipline and there we go. Not watching Job TV, done. Food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system, Laszlo. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Laszlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was... Yes. There we go. All right. We're all done with uh, Luigi's missions for now, so let's do an explore. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. 
sometimes I even pray. <laughs> no offense, but you're kind of a scrawn. Give me. Still live in your parents' basement. Okay, if, if not a basement, I prefer a center for spiritual life. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. Lad low, a closed mind is like a closed mind. Right, see if I can a fix this car up. Hand, but it might as well mean open mind. If you like wheatgrass, I think you'll really like my book. Well, I'm not a master. New engine paint job, the cops won't recognize you. Damp hay and Excellent. Leggings, shouting, okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. I know I could toggle the submission, but I'm not going to do that yet. Everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial art can help you. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see nope. the Definitely nowhere near enough speed. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. All right. I bought your book. It's really saved my life. Why, well, thank you. I want to ask about chapter 29, yoga, not yogurt. I just can't do that. Right. Anything here? Yes, there's a package up there. Alright, I need. You carnivore, why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla there? Need like a van or something. Ah, maybe this will be... Yeah, you'll do. Come with me. No, you saw nothing. Can you, st can you stop? Ah, good. I've lost my wanted star. Here we go. No, oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. I don't remember where all of them are, but I'll try and get as many as I can. Thank you. Knowing this station it cost hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Uh adrenaline, I don't think, don't need that right now. And now I shall make it so dragon stance. Hey So anything around here? Oh, okay. Yes! My memory do good sometime. Alright, let's, uh... We've done some side bits. Well, I say some side bits. Just picked up a few packages. Let's go see... Joey. See what he wants. Ah, good old conspiracy nuts. Come back between five and nine. All right. Government listens to this station, and and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh yeah, and look, they already got me once, but never again. <laughs> yeah, 
have anything else to say? Yes. Free Kevin. All right, we're talking about short guys. Killer. Now they jump that. Well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. The station, it feels like my second family. <laughs> Except that we have a Here we go, right. right. Working here beats the hell out of digging. It will cheat the system. Here we go. Joey should be free for a job now. I mean, they, they have the nerve to call crackers bits. And they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee. Okay, that is a very solid hedge. Yeah, that is a very strong hedge, Jesus. Ah, blast, that would have made getting the, uh, the girls to the party a lot easier. Oh well, lesson learned. Hey, I'm bored. When you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Yeah. Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, you won't be in forever. Fair enough. There's a place you can go. I see your point, but you know, you'd be a little cranky too if it's time for some commerce here. Let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone stale? Has the spark gone out of your love life? Looking to add a little adventure to the monotony of monogamy? Hello, I am Fernando Martinez. Ah, uh, Fernando Martinez. I forgot about you. way of saving your marriage. We understand to give you the mortgage and take the passion out of your life. With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance guarantees. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going to be even before... Murderer! <laughs> Well, technically you're not wrong, but how do you know that? On Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the terminal. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I cinco, cinco, cinco. One of those and one of those. Hey, well, got a job for you. I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. <laughs> Gee Willikers, it's a puppy. Everybody loves a puppy. Here we go. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to petsovernight.com. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <laughs> and who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? I think Marco might notice that. Listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the oh, well. and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Well, uh, yeah, it's taking me to the uh, shop to get it repaired. Callers are a perfect example of manners in the city. People are rude and they don't seem to care about anything. Yeah, the god, the handling of cars in this game is not the best. Do you though, Laszlo? 
do you actually have any feelings? I remember you in the future. In Grand Theft Auto 5, you're pretty much the epitome of scumbag. Uh, how do I activate the bomb? No. There we go. How are those meatballs? A little spicy. Oh man, you destroyed my stolen vehicle too. Hey, what? How do you know it was me? Is he still following me? No, okay, lost my star. Give me your car. Oh, the American Australian War. <laughs> of course, it was. I think we're done for now, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been GTA 3 Definitive Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.